Let's talk about listening comprehension. And so, have you ever had the experience of your learning a foreign language and when you see something written, you always understand it? Yet, when you hear the language being spoken to you, either by a native speaker or on TV or on YouTube, you just cannot understand it at all. But when you read it, you understand it. If you put subtitles, you can understand it. But if you just hear it, no subtitles, you cannot understand it. I think one of the reasons for this, well, two reasons. One is that we spend a lot more time reading the foreign language than we do listening. The second thing is that when you have the word printed, it's always the same word. Uh, when we listen, sometimes things are not clear. Sometimes there are different accents. Sometimes there are different ways of speaking. When you have a printed word, even if it's in a different font, it's still the same uh, clarity. You can still read it without trouble. So when we want to improve our listening skills, our listening comprehension, you want to start from the very beginning. So do it as soon as you start learning the language. Be sure to practice your listening comprehension. You don't want to wait until later and think, oh, maybe if I just learn the language a little bit more, eventually one day I'll be able to get to a point where I can then listen to the language and understand it. If you want to get good at listening, you have to do it from the beginning and you should do it consistently. So do it a little bit each day. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to understand everything right away. But if you keep at it over enough time, a little bit each day, you will be able to understand more and more and more. So what kind of contents you want to use for your listening? Well, you want comprehensible input. If you cannot understand what you're listening to, it's too easy for the language just to become a blur in the background. And you're kind of zone out from listening to the language. You're going to find that it just becomes this like sound in the background that you don't really understand. So you want comprehensible input, which means that you more or less are able to understand the content. Of course, at the very beginning, you'll want to use learning materials. I like to use Asimil personally, but you can use any course, Pimsleur, or any other kind of uh, beginner's contents. If you get a little bit more advanced, you can do podcasts or TV shows, uh, YouTube videos, basically anything that you're able to understand at your level. And eventually you'll get to such a high level that you will want to just do everything. You know, do newscasts, movies, uh, anything that you can listen to, audiobooks. And this will all become practice for your listening comprehension. You want to make sure that you're able to listen to all styles of speech and content. So something else is active versus passive listening. Passive listening is when maybe you're doing something else, like you're doing chores around the house or driving, and you're listening to a podcast in the background. You're still understanding what's being said, but your full attention is not on it. This can be helpful, but I say I think you should also do active listening as well. Active listening is very important because you're putting your full focus onto the material and putting it into your mind that way. And one of the best ways you can do active listening is by shadowing. And what shadowing is, is you have some content and you have a recording of it. And then you listen to the content and speak it at the same time that you're hearing it. Now, you can do blind shadowing, which means you listen to material you've never heard before and you speak it at the same time. This can be a good way to get practice for the sounds of the language or getting good at predicting what's next. But you can also do shadowing of material that you do know already or that you've listened to before. I like to do this with awesome meal lessons because they're short, uh, usually around 30 seconds to a minute long, and you can just repeat them over and over again. And that way you get really good at being able to not only 
listen and comprehend what you're hearing, but you also get speaking practice in by speaking aloud at the same time. You can practice your accent. Something else that you can do is you can use an audiobook that you're listening to, or maybe even if you're reading the book, you can then buy the audiobook and then do shadowing of the audiobook. So something that I also do is I create flashcards for the unknown words. Now, if you're just listening, it may be difficult to stop the uh, recording and get the unknown word. But what I like to do is I like to make flashcards from contents that I already have written out that I also have the recording available for. That way I can have no trouble listening to it as well as when I hear a word that I don't know, I can just look at the print form and then look up the word that way. And then I can create flashcards and you can either do closed deletion or you can make images or you can even put uh, clips of the recording onto the flashcards so you hear it every time that you do the flashcard. So some common mistakes that you want to avoid. You don't want to ignore listening. You know, I'm guilty of this. I like to read a lot. I like to look at the language and just read grammar books, read uh, Asamil manuals and do that sort of thing. So I'm guilty of not listening enough, but you don't want to ignore listening because if you only read, then when you get into a situation with a native speaker and they're speaking at you uh, maybe a hundred miles a minute, you're not going to be able to understand what they're saying. And that can be disheartening. It's so much better when you're able to connect with another human being in their language. And that requires being able to hear and understand what they're saying. Something else is that you want to avoid is an over-reliance on subtitles. It's very easy to say, watch a YouTube video and put the subtitles on. But what you're doing is you're going to be focused in on reading the subtitles and not training your ear to pick up the sounds of the language. It's very easy to trick yourself into thinking you're practicing listening when in reality you're just reading the subtitles and you're falling back on that. So you wanna make sure that at times you just watch the YouTube video without any subtitles or watch the movie without subtitles and just try to listen to the language and take it in and try to understand it as best as you can. The other thing you want to avoid is not seeking varied content. If you just listen to, say, one podcast, you might get very good at listening to that one speaker. For example, if you're learning German and you listen to the Easy German podcast, uh, you might get used to the speakers of that show and you might get used to their slow, clear uh, pronunciation. But then when you get to other material, you'll find that you don't understand it at all because you haven't practiced uh, different kinds of speech and listening to that speech. So you want to find different kinds of content, different speakers from different regions, different accents, different ages, different genders, everything. You just want to get a varied form of the language so that you can get good at picking up the listening in it in no matter what form it's in. So now I want to remind you that it's always important to set realistic goals. When you first start out learning the language and start listening to it, you're probably not going to learn, you're not going to uh, listen or understand a lot. You're probably going to understand very little when you listen to the language at first. And that's okay because as long as you stay consistent and you keep listening a little bit, a little bit every day, you will get better. So what you want to do is make sure that you're patient. Patience is key. You're going to get better over time. And if you can keep going and not make a mistake in letting it go and not listening to the language, make sure you just do a little bit each day and you will be fine. And when you get to that point, one day you'll wake up and you'll say, hey, I can hear a native speaker and I can understand everything that they're saying to me. And let me tell you, that is a fantastic feeling. So I hope you get to that point one day, and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much.